Hello everybody, welcome back to Kids Kingdom. I'm Miss Joelle. And I'm Elsie. And I'm Ava. We are missing Luke right now, but he will join us later for our craft, I'm sure. Um, so today is the seventh Sunday of Easter, and Elsie is going to start us out with a little prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So to begin today, um, let's just talk about what special day last Sunday was. Who remembers? Mother's Day. We had Mother's Day last Sunday. Um, think about what you did for your mother or somebody special in your life who helps take care of you. Um, often we make special cards or homemade gifts. What else might we do for our mothers? We um, we might um, we might um, we might give them a card and we might. Ha um, go to the store and give them some, fl give her some flowers. Yeah. And maybe bake something. Yeah. So try to make your moms feel special, honor them in some way. Um, so anyway, this month of May, we actually honor another special mother, and that's Jesus' mother. What's her name? Mary. Mary. So May is the month of Mary. And we can do things to honor Mother Mary. Here's a picture. Um, Mother Mary. Mary is the mother of Jesus. She's called the mother of the church. And Mary takes care of God's family. So she was a very, or she is a very important um, person, bigger in our, in our faith. Um, why, why me? There's lots of reasons why we celebrate Mary in May. What happens in May? What season is it? It's spring. Springtime, what happens in spring, Elsie? Um, spring is when, um, when the grass is um, starting to get green and it's starting to get hotter out and it's, um, it's kind of hot and kind of cold and it's where baby birds um, start to hatch in their nest. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of flowers and trees and bloom. It's a sign and season of new growth. Um, that reminds us that Mary gave life to Jesus. And without Mary giving life to Jesus, all the events that took place in Jesus' life would not have happened, right? So we celebrate Mary and how important she is. Um, some people have Mary on a little altar at their prayer table. Um, they bring flowers to her in the month of May, have special devotions. Lots of ways, but in May we should just remember that we need to honor Mary in some some way. So Elsie actually did a, a prayer called what? Um called um Hail, Hail Mary. Mary. The Hail Mary. And that is a prayer dedicated to our mother Mary. Um we have who can tell us what this is? Ava, hold that up. This is a rosary. That's a rosary. Um, so a rosary, it's a beautiful and powerful way to pray. Can you hold it up to the camera, Ava? Yeah. So it's like sitting with Mary and looking through a family album as we remember important moments in Jesus' life. And we meditate on different mysteries of our faith and love of Jesus. And we're inspired to trust God and love others and be humble because we see those qualities in Mary and in Jesus. And we can reflect with lots of different pictures and mysteries. 
These are some examples of the joyful mysteries that we think about as we pray the rosary. Um, we thought we would do the Hail Mary one more time in song. So we have a, a little example of the Hail Mary. And if you guys would like to just sit and listen and have a quiet moment of prayer, you can do that. Or if you'd like to join along and echo, it's a little echo song, so listen and repeat, um, you can do that. Enjoy. many times when we say the rosary. Um, so there's a crucifix, five beads at the beginning where we say our introductory prayers, and then five decades, so five groups of ten beads where we pray the Hail Mary, and then we have our closing prayers. So that could take a significant amount of time for a little one. Um, we thought that we would condense it a little bit today and make our own little, you know, sort of adapted rosary and only do one decade, 10 beads, and one bead at the start where we could say the, our father. So we're going to make these in, in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, with this rosary, um, we thought that we should mention we do only worship God. So when we pray, we are always praying to God or Jesus. However, we can talk to saints or angels, um, Mary, for example, and we can ask her for these people to pray for us on, or sorry, pray to God on our behalf. So, um, when we say, say the rosary, we are actually asking Mary to help us, or pray to God for us. Um, so it is a special prayer that I'm sure many of you do with your family, but it's nice to learn, learn these prayers and have a special way to meditate and a special way to talk to Mary and talk to God in our lives. So we will head over and put together our own little craft so that the little ones have um, a small adapted rosary that they can learn to take time with and learn to pray. So let's go put that together. Okay, Ava, let us know what we need for craft materials today. So, you need a pair of scissors, um, a pipe cleaner, and 11 beads. 11 beads. So, we're going to start by everybody um, 
Putting your beads into the middle of your pipe cleaner. Ten of them. So save one. So Luke, you've almost got you've got eight on there already. You already started ahead of us. One more. Sorry. Two more. Oh yes. Okay. Put all of them on except for one. So you don't put any more on. Perfect. You don't. So ten beads, can you count them once they're okay. in the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. No, ten. Perfect. So move your beads into Mommy, the middle of your pipe cleaner. Look, one, two, three, I got four, two more left. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so keep the ten on. <laughs> you save that eleventh bead for in a minute. Alright. Everybody got your beads in the middle? Yep. Hold that up, Eva. So now what we're gonna do, everybody count 10. 10 beads one, at two, home, three, and you have four, one five, left six, over. Seven, eight, so, nine, ten. Yeah. So you don't need to take them apart, but make sort of a medium sized um, circle. Okay, so close up your circle. I kind of do a half knot, like if you're going to be tying your shoelaces. Okay, do a twist, whatever, just some way to close. Close up that circle so nothing is falling. And maybe do a little, another little extra twist. Okay, so you've got a circle and you've got two ends coming down. Keep the longer end and we're gonna snip. I'll help you with those in a minute, okay? We're gonna snip off the shorter end. So take your scissors. Snip off the shorter end. Okay. Then what you can do is put your last bead up to the bottom of the circle. Okay, so Luke, I'll help you with yours. So we're gonna make a circle. I'm gonna do a little half knot. Yeah. Like this. Mm-hmm. I'll just try to a little twist. Okay. And then we just snip off one side. Oops, sorry. Careful with the wire. And look, you're gonna need to feed one more bead through here at the bottom. Your last bead, put it, put it up and through. So after you've put on your eleventh bead, can I you get? yeah, you can take your extra piece of wire pipe cleaner that you cut off and form the cross on the bottom. So you're gonna put it across and I just twist it once around so it stays put. And then you've got your 10 beads in a circle. You've got your one bead right above the cross. And if you'd like to spread out the beads to make it look Nice. Yeah. Okay, so with Luke, we're going to do your cross here. Now, if I were to use this rosary with my group here, I would use this first bead and say the Our Father. So we would hold the cross, the crucifix at the bottom, we would do the sign of the cross. And then we could say, be our father. And then we would go through our 10 beads, saying a Hail Mary on each bead. And then at the end, we could do a glory bead. So, yeah, there's a little bit of flexibility. Do you know when you say the Hail Mary, often somebody says the first part, and then we gather, we come in as a group. So I would say, Hail Mary, full of grace. And Hold on to my first bead. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And then everybody else would come in and say, Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And then you move on to the next bead. And you hold the next bead, Luke. Okay, I'm going to hold the next bead. And then we would repeat the process through all the beads and we could say the glory be. So you have your own 
little adapted rosary that you can you can pray with at home. So that would be your at home challenge to practice saying your prayers with one another. And we hope everybody has a nice week and we hope to see you again. I think Mrs. McKenzie will be back next week. So thank you all for joining us and have a great Sunday, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.